Hollywood bushcrafters. Today in these very wet woods where the rain is stopping and starting every now and then. Uh, it's not raining at the moment thankfully and uh, it didn't decide to rain when I was doing that little walking sequence but it was raining a little bit, it was drizzling while I was battening. So today I want to test out magnesium. I bought 99.9% pure or 99% pure, can't remember the exact percentage, magnesium off wish.com. So this is it, a nice bar of magnesium. I gathered wood using my Solanac Psyca, Psyca 90 and my Fiskars SW73. This is a wicked little saw, very quick, very sharp. I wasn't sure about the telescopic mechanism, but I haven't had any issues with it. It's very secure when you tighten it. I really like this little clip here. It's useful for attaching to my pack. So in this bag, I found some dead standing wood. I battened it down a bit. And I also found this uh, dead uh, rotting log, but it was reasonably dry because it was standing. So I cut that down. I managed to split it with my knife, which was pretty difficult. I had to atta uh, attack it from both sides, doing one side at a time just using the tip of the knife basically. Because the inside is quite rotten, I was able to clear away this inside part quite easily. And I did this just so that I could catch the magnesium in something. And to help form a base. I was also fortunate to find a couple of pieces of dead standing hazel. Hazel is definitely one of my favorite types of wood. It's very easy to find dead standing and it's very easy to identify the dead sticks. Basically you can just grab them, walk them back and forth a bit. If they snap you can take them and uh, this one especially is very dry. This one is a bit wet on this side. I don't know if you can see the color difference. But on the inside, it looks quite dry still. So hopefully I can get a small fire started. Okay, time to open the magnesium up. Brand new, still sealed. I'm really looking forward to using magnesium. From what I've seen, it burns incredibly hot, makes a lot of sparks. Wow. So, first of all, it's very light. It feels really smooth. It feels a lot like aluminium. So the trick with this is to make some shavings. I'm not sure how much to make, so I'm just gonna make a lot. Be generous. The back of my knife is pretty good, but I don't think this is the best scraper I have. So I'm going to try the scraper for my ferro rod to see if that's any better.
The scraper for my ferro rod is working a lot better for this. So this isn't as soft as I was expecting it to be. So uh, I'm gonna switch off the camera for a moment, save the batteries, and uh, I'll come back to you guys once I have a decent sized pile. So hopefully this is enough. I would guess that because this is a pure magnesium, from what I've seen, the when other people scrape magnesium, it's usually off the side of those blocks that are attached to ferro rods, and I would guess that those are made softer because it would seem that it's a lot easier for them to, to, to make piles of scrapings. This was quite difficult, so I, I would guess this is pure magnesium than the stuff that's uh, on those magnesium blocks attached to ferro rods. Regardless, I've had enough of scraping, so even if this is not enough, tough, this is what I'm going to try with. I'm going to make some feather sticks with the hazel now. Hopefully that's enough feather sticks. The rest of this hazel, I'm just snapping it and keeping it for firewood. Time now for the main event. I have my battened wood at the ready. Let's throw some sparks into this and see what happens. is that fire loves edges and you know, sharp bits of wood so when you're battening batten it down small enough and make a lot of uh, corners and sharp angles and things for the fire to catch on to So in one of my last videos, I was just messing around with the Chin Lin 
army trowel and the wood I was using was quite damp and I didn't take the fire very seriously I didn't prepare enough so it just goes to show that the more you prepare the more effort you put into your fire the more successful it's going to be I made a lot of feather sticks the, the wood I chose was very dry I would say that that's a successful, well-established fire. The magnesium was quite impressive, but it was very fast. So definitely, there needs to be something to catch that flame. So a lot of feather sticks or some newspaper. Because if that, those feather sticks hadn't been there, the magnesium would have burnt out like that and I would not have got a fire out of it. I can still see, I'm looking in, into it now, the magnesium is sparking and, and glittering. I do think it was very good practice, it used a wide variety of skills. I honestly didn't think that this fire would be so successful. I really wish I had bought along a grill or something, because I think this is going to make some really nice embers. I highly recommend getting a bellow, especially if you're just starting out. It makes getting air into a fire and getting it going again really super easy. See, just like that.
hopefully you will agree it was like I was never here. This is very, very wet moss and needles. The fire was definitely out. There were no glowing embers. It was only uh, steaming slightly. So yep, as much as possible guys, always practice, leave no trace. The smoke has died down now. It's a very strong, very well established fire now. I really hope that this video was as enjoyable to watch as it was to make. Unfortunately, I can't title this making fire in the rain. The forecast said that it would be raining until 12 o'clock. It is now about 12.30 and all the preparation and uh, you know, the scraping the magnesium took part uh, was about 11 to 12. So it should have been raining, but uh, it wasn't. There are a few droplets coming through now. So it might start raining just on the walk home. But, uh, oh well, that's life, I guess. Now, if you do see this, I would say it's worth getting. It's quite impressive. It's, it's very powerful, burns very strong. Also, it, it is incredibly light, so well worth throwing into your fire pack, even though it does take a while to make uh, quite a, a significant amount of scrapings that you would need. Please like, subscribe, and until next time, keep enjoying nature.